we have children to look after. We have uh, constituencies to look after to represent in prior right? We have projects that have stalled for more than nine months now, but are uh, waiting for justice to prevail. And uh, through you, your lordships, if they uh, could help us and grant us a new way and give prison, get a temporary freedom for all that, to enable us to get treatment, at least reach that day when the trial uh, will be commenced, when we are fit to attend the trial, your lordship. We were tortured. When we are we are arrested, we have complained about this for several times, but as the state has denied it several times. But we know that in front of you we could get we can get that justice that we came for. I shall pray my own ships. Okay, thank you. Okay. My Lord, thank you so much for this opportunity. It's quite absurd that the state is using uh, demand as a punishment and it's in the Ugandan constitution that uh, demand should not be used as a punishment. Your I was kidnapped at the entrance of uh, Chico prison the day I was released. I was tortured, but after today I never received any medication. Well, my words, our reply is that it is just for today so that we can go and get better medication. Thank you. That's my prayer, my words. Yes, to both of you. Uh, both of you, we are sorry if you are tortured, torture is not allowed in this country, it's outlawed. Uh, it's a serious matter. And the court takes it seriously too. So if anybody tortures, it's against the law and the court cannot allow that. For treatment, the court law has ordered that you be accorded treatment in, 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 in a place which fits uh, your ailment. And we reiterate that, that the prison authorities should, where you are ailing, should give you appropriate treatment. The application before us is for bail. So we are going to hear that the, the application if we allow this, if we don't allow this preliminary objection. There's an objection raised that this application should not be heard by this court. And that's what we have here, been hearing since morning. We are going to determine that and see whether the bail application is heard or not. And depending on the result of this preliminary objection, we then decide how to handle the matter. So the matters you raise, both of you, regarding uh, your constituencies, your children, your sicknesses, and so on, if the bail application is allowed to be had, will be addressed in that in the hearing of that application. Thank you. A question. Well, can we be clear? Are you saying that the treatment you're getting in hospital, is, I mean, in prison, is not sufficient? Because we are aware that the prison provides, um, you know, specialists who visit and they assist you. You are not specific. <laughs> because the court is, like you said, the court is not adverse to your opinion to help. Did you hear what I said? Yes. 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 Yeah, well, we have always complained about it, your lordships. We have ailments that cannot be handled within the prisons, uh, heart attack and others of hypertension and the others that we suffered when mishandled at the day when we are rearrested. Some of our private parts are not well. We believe that if given that chance and uh, go out, we can have our lives made better by special uh, physiologists and, uh, and, and, and we will thank God for that. That's what we are meaning. But for malaria, there is treatment and cough, there is treatment, but those are not the sicknesses that we are talking about. 
We are talking about two elements that need special attention. As you will hear, if you grant us that right, that that chance of hearing our bail, you will hear from the presentation of our lawyers and us on that day. I thank you, my lordships. Yes, you, you raised an important issue of ailments touching on your private parts and so on and so on. Did I hear you well? Did I hear you well? Yes, you heard me well, your lordship. Only that the internet is disturbing us a bit. Because then which facility in Uganda do you want to go to to handle that? Are you saying it? Because you have not mentioned that we should be taken to Mulago because Mulago is the prefer hospital in this country. Should the prison authority yeah. take you to Mulago for treatment or something like that? We have so we have always tried for such, but they have not my lordship. Okay. We we not that and we are asking and directing the prison authorities to ensure that you get treatment. We will be able to handle your ailments. Uh, do you have a prison officer in the Can you say your name and uh, your rank and uh, what you want to say? Doctor, uh, I'm number 15722, what up, Ronald, working with the Ghana Prison Service, specifically at Chico Main Prison. My Lord, as far as the medical issue is concerned, our medical team is handling it very well, and I am convinced in case they need to be referred to the National Referral Hospital, which is Mulago, our medical team can able to do that, my Lord. Is it being done? The question is, is it being done? The, the, the condition is not bad, my Lord. No, no, I'm protesting that, my Lord. He's not competent. It is, a, it is a statement, it is not a doctor. He is just saying they are being looked after and they are getting medical attention. Now, what is uh, he saying? He needs a special aid. And we are asking the prison authorities that please ensure that they get appropriate medical attention, including if it is necessary to take them to a specialist or to Mulago Hospital where we have all these specialists. Okay, okay. Much of my, 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 much of like my own, we are going to ensure that that directive is handled, is uh, taken into consideration. Okay. Okay. For the record, my lord, for oh, most of them. Just a minute. Most of them. Your, your, your prison officer, yes, you have made your statement. But the person who is sick is near you there. And he says he's not feeling well. And he has just gone out to vomit and come back. I'm sure you saw that you must have followed him. So the ailment is there. I think it is important that we set timelines how you should you have these people treated by people competent to treat their ailments. Can we then say that maybe every seven days? Every seven days we call a specialist, and if they are not able to come, we take them to a specialist. All the specialists are in Morocco. Either you bring them to the prison, people, or you take them there and they get that attention. Before we come back here, we are going to be here next Wednesday. So they should be treated before that day. Yes. We have the earlier conferencing notice for purposes of conferencing. Those were notes for conferencing. And who is the file of submission? Oh. Yes, the file of submission. Two pages. Put the microphone down. So 
we are sorry for your ailment. Sorry, my Lord. And we appreciate your, uh, your spirit of working even when you are. My Lord, I was only requested down for innovation. Okay. Additional submissions be made. 
with additional submissions being made for our mother. Yes. 